Moto Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Garmin Zumo XT on a motorcycle and also in a car. So the first thing we need to do is set everything aside and take a closer look at the power cable. The power cable has a connection at one end to connect to the device, and this is where we would attach the cradle. And then at the other end, it has a transformer block to step down the voltage from 12 volts to uh, 5 volts. Now this block is larger than it appears and won't fit through any of the smaller panel gaps on a motorcycle and is completely inflexible, so it's something we need to be aware of. And then finally at the end we have the cable ends which we would attach to the battery. So before we go any further, we're going to pick up this cable and go out to the bike. Now on the bike, we're going to try and figure out how we want to route this cable because it's much easier to route the cable before we attach the cradle to the uh, device end, uh, if you like. You need to be particularly mindful of that transformer block because that won't fit through any small gaps at all. And it's much easier to figure this out now than when we've attached the cradle uh, to the uh, device end and then come to the bike and realize we have to take off more panels than we would have perhaps had to if we'd gone and routed it first. The next steps I'm going to describe, such as attaching the cradle and attaching terminations to the end of the power cable, can be done at any time. So the ideal thing to do first is position the cable on the motorbike in a manner that's going to be the least effort and uh, amount of panels removed as possible. So once we've figured out that, and we can determine then whether we're going to attach the remaining components on the bench or with a cable on the bike. So the first thing we need to do is take the device end of the power cable and insert it through the, uh, through the cradle. It'll only really go one way and push it into place. Next we need to take one of these small screws. The device comes with two small screws but one of them is a spare so don't worry if you can't find a place for the second one. And uh, screw that in so that the uh, power cable is connected to the cradle. Now this next step is extremely important. Attach the weather cap firmly. If you forget to do this, what will happen is this may slide off the cable and end up on the floor, or even worse, it may end up somewhere under a fairing panel uh, when you uh, attach it to the motorbike. So the next step is to attach the uh, terminators to the end of the power cable. I'm going to be hardwiring these uh, to the battery because I never leave the device on the bike so battery drain isn't a problem for me. Some people attach the cable to uh, an auxiliary uh, wiring on the motorcycle or uh, some other people fit an additional relay but I've always uh, hardwired. Once you make these uh, connections or crimp these just check the integrity of these because you'd much rather these fail now than uh, further down the line when you're out on the road. So next we'll attach the uh, cradle uh, to the bracket. Now this next step I'm going to show you is completely optional but it's something I chose to do. So I'm going to color in the uh, screw heads and the washers black using a permanent marker. Now the reason I'm doing this is because the new cradle design even with the weather cap attached, you can still see the exposed screw heads. So this is what it looks like before you'll see on the left. So if you're riding around town and you're not using the device, that's what will be staring up at you on the motorcycle. Now the previous design, the Zemo 590 LM and 595 um, LM, the weather cap covered all the screws. So you didn't have to look at those when you were riding around town. So I've spent a little bit of extra time coloring in these screw heads and wash is black. So the next thing we'll need to do is attach the uh, cradle to the mounting bracket. So for that we'll need a posi drive screwdriver and a 7mm socket. This diagram shows how everything fits together and if you hold the cradle this way up it makes it easier to put together. So we start with the screws and the uh, washers and insert those.
Next, we insert the spaces. and uh, line up the bracket. And finally attach the nuts. So I added these uh, finger tight to begin with just so everything would stay in place before I went about tightening them. When tightening everything up, I tried to go in a sort of star formation and tighten each one up gradually, uh, like you would if you were attaching a wheel to a, a car, because that seemed like the, uh, the best method to me. And there we are, there's the final assembly. And just for reference, here's a before and after shot of what the screws look like uh, with and without the uh, black permanent marker. So now we'll move to the motorcycle. So this is how I've chosen to mount uh, the uh, unit on the handlebars. So that uh, attachment in the middle is a Telfizer uh, mount. It sort of screws into the headstock and I'll put a link to that in the description. So with that, I can attach the, uh, the cradle. And then route the cable uh, from the headstock to the uh, battery compartment. I had to take off a few panels in order to do this, uh, such as the, uh, the tank cover. I'm routing this next to the tank, uh, not under the tank, so it's easier to remove uh, should I wish to at a later date. And once the cable's routed uh, successfully, I'm going to attach it to the battery. And the bike in the picture is a Honda CBR 600 RR 2009 model. There's quite a lot of space in the uh, battery compartment of these uh, to store cables and, and other things. So finally, once that's all connected, the final step is to attach the device and see if it powers up. If it powers up, then we've done everything correctly. And there we are, powered up first time and is prompting to switch to motorcycle mode because it's recognized the motorcycle mount. So the next steps are to put the bike back together. So just for completeness, I'll show you how to install in the car. So the first step is to attach the bracket to whichever mount you're, you're going to use. Um, I'm using a vent mount in this case. Um, next, I'm going to trace the cable over and plug that into a power socket. And finally, attach the device. So with this new design, we have to plug the cable into the back of the device. The previous Zemo uh, 590 and 595, the car cradle was powered, so you could just snap it in. But now we have to uh, connect the cable. That actually uh, irritates me, so I'm going to be making a future video on how to make a powered cradle. So the device powers up, and now it is ready to be used in the car. And that is how to install a Garmin Zemo XT on the motorcycle and also in the car. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, share, and subscribe.